you. We're out here, Rob. The United States Capitol is right over there, but it is still safe for the people here. <laughs> Let me uh, read something from Christopher Hitchens who's going to be on this spot in two days, and I don't need to excite you further or excite those who you drive crazy, but here's a thought. Christopher Hitchens in a book called God is Not Great. Those are not my words. As I write these words and as you read them, people of faith are in different ways planning your and my destruction and the destruction of all the hard-won human attainments that I've touched upon. Religion poisons everything and culture. Um, we're not plotting his destruction, but the creator is. <laughs> nice. Nice. And that makes me laugh. <laughs> okay, thank you. Your thought, your question for Ann. Hey, with Tom Qualter with Young America's Foundation. It's great to see you. Excellent. Look great. Um, Harry Reid, uh, Senate Majority Leader, Democrat, obviously, has said the war is lost. He bragged about killing the Patriot Act. I didn't hear a peep out of him when, he, when we killed Zarqawi. Um, why aren't more Republicans calling the Democrats out on their apparent enthusiasm to lose the war? Uh, they count on me for that, to call them traitors. <laughs> okay, next John, question. Anybody else here? Come on, buddy. Move it up. Move it up. Let's go. Question for you. Come on. There you go. Don't get chicken. Come on. Take a run. Hey, Miss Coulter. How are you doing? Miss Coulter. That's right. That's not an ad hominem. Okay, go ahead. I'm serious. Uh, John Thompson, just big Republican. Okay, if you could send one crazy liberal celebrity to Guantanamo Bay, who would it be? Uh, right now, I'm kind of warming up to Chris Matthews as my right, okay. <laughs> uh, You know, I have to tell you, let's go over here to the uh, Young Americans for Freedom and the John Birch Society. Uh, just teasing. Do you have a question? Go ahead. For uh, Anne. Yes. Here, she's right here. My name is Laura with the Claire Booth Loose Policy Institute. Excellent. And I want to know what you would do to reform Social Security if you had the chance. Well, okay, I'll give Bush credit for that. After tacking him on amnesty, oh, yeah. he You're did try to reform it by privatizing it. Um, I mean, it's just got to be destroyed root and branch. You're going to be paying for it. Your children are going to be paying for it. Your grandchildren are going to be paying for it. Um, I think it probably didn't go through because we happen to be at a lull in the stock market. But it's, it's a big problem, and at least Bush tried to do something about it. Okay, look, question for you, young lady. Um, and Coulter. You've been cheering her like mad. Give her a question. I'm with uh, Amanda Holcomb with Heritage Foundation, and I understand that we can now say, President Bush, what's up with this amnesty? But you, it's it's not time to start not supporting him. Like he's almost done. You can't sit here and say, I hate Bush now, but he's still a president, right? Um, You're talking about immigration, right? Yeah. <laughs> well. I mean, for one thing, he's not running again, and frankly, I think he's going to be an anvil around the neck of, of any Republican running with this bill. Um, I mean, I've really, I've really noticed that, that the country is coming together. It does turn out. I'll say something nice about him. In addition to Social Security, he is a uniter, not a divider. We're all just waiting for this guy to leave. How would you describe yourself, Ann Calder, a uniter? Or a divider? Just guessing. Oh, That's I a rhetorical am. question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get some more questions. I want to stay out of the way here. Jump in here, guys, quickly, quickly. And what would you suggest we do with the illegal immigration problem? Um, doing nothing is better than what they're planning up on the Hill right now. I mean, if, if uh, I do not think we should be rewarding people who break the law and completely transforming the nation without giving Americans a vote. If if the punishment is they live in the shadows, okay, let them live in the shadows. That's better than giving them amnesty. Next question. Uh, my candidate, Barack Obama, he is a churchgoer. He's reaching out to the uh, religious part of the country, and he wants to turn the page, and he wants to be friends. So how can you call him godless? <laughs> how can you call him godless? Um... Well, he goes to kind of a crazy church where the minister praises Gaddafi and says we deserve 9-11. So I'm, there are churches and churches. Um, and, you know, he just gave this speech on, okay. on evangelicals hijacking America. And it, I mean, it just seems to me people are always saying you have to give up on abortion so the country will be united. Well, okay, how about you guys and give up culture. on abortion? The name of the book is Godless. We've sold a lot of her books tonight. I don't know if I can go to confession fast enough. We'll be right back tomorrow night with more hardball. Oh.